Hello, in this video we're gonna open this uh, Asus gaming laptop. This is uh, Asus FX506H. The laptop is in uh, very bad condition, it hasn't been open before, so we're gonna open it, we're gonna replace the thermal paste and we're gonna clean the fans. So of course, the first thing of course we have to take out the screws on the back. There are two shorts on this side, all the rest I think are the same size and they're longer than the others. So. We have to take out the bottom cover and we'll have an access to the, to the laptop. The two screws under the display are a little bit longer than the others, keep that in mind. Now we'll use something sharp. Yeah. And of course we forgot the screw, which is absolutely normal. As you can see the fans are in a very very bad condition. Now let us disconnect the battery first since we don't want to short something on the board. Now we're going to remove the screws on the, the fans. I think we have to lift the cooler first and after that the fan because the fan, the plastic of the fan is going under the cooler. So let's start. All the screws on the collar are the same size. We have one screw here. And one here. Now let's disconnect the fans. We have to remove the cable for the display. So we can have a better access here. Like this. And now we have to lift this thing. Easy, just slide it left to right. And you should be able to
Pegue desse. As you can see, we have a lot of debris on this fan. Also, we have here. You can check the fan. The plastic is not visible from the dust. So right now I'll put the video on a, on a pause. I'm gonna clean the fans with the vacuum cleaner so it will be very noisy and I will be right back. Now I did clean the fans as you can see they're spinning freely both of them so now we have to clean the whole thermal paste and the cooler now usually I clean the let me try to zoom I think it's enough. Usually first I clean the old paste with a dry Q-tip. This way it stuck on the Q-tip and you don't do a lot of mess around the chip. After that I am using a paper with some alcohol in order to finally clean the, the dye. So, hmm. like this, and now we're going to use some alcohol. like this and we're gonna clean the the core side now the blue thermal paste that is applied on the cooler usually I don't replace it because it's actually a very good quality one and if you do replace it you have to use something good in order to not make the things worse so I'll just leave it and it will stick right back it's not a thermal pad it's some uh, different viscosity thermal paste which I can't find so yeah basically now we're gonna apply the new paste I am using Arctic MHX4, you can use MHX5, Cranout or whatever, just use a good quality paste. Spray it a little bit, after that when you tie the cooler it will make the paste even. Now we're gonna put back the first fan. Like this. We're gonna put the other one.
like this and now we're gonna put back the cooler move it a little bit left to right in order to spread the paste evenly and now we have to put the screws back Don't forget to plug in the fans, otherwise you have to open the laptop again, which I do quite often. Don't tie the screws all the way in, just put all of them and then Now let's let's put the fans. like this now we're gonna put back the battery Be careful with these connectors, they are notorious for breaking. Now let's put the cover back. I think it was like that. Yeah. And now Now the boring part, we have to screw back the longer ones were under the display. The two short ones are here. All the rest should be the same.
Let's see, do we have a picture? We did reset the BIOS, so probably it will take a long time to boot. We have a keyboard backlight, powers off, powers on again. Ah, yeah, we have picture. Probably it needed a longer time to boot because we disassembled the battery. Everything is working fine. Now I have to clean all this mess here because I don't like to give dirty laptops to the customer. We have some liquid or something here. I'll try to clean the laptop. And basically that's the whole procedure. You can hit the like button if uh, this video was uh, helpful to you. That's it for now. Bye-bye.